Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question majority element. So you are given array nums of size n, return the majority element. The majority element is an element that appears more than n divided two times, which means uh, more than half um, of input array. And uh, you may assume that the majority element always exists in the array. So let's see the example. So you are given 3, 2, 3, and the uh, output is 3 because uh, we have 2, 3, and 1, 2. So that's why uh, 3 is a, a majority element. And uh, let's see the example 2. So you are given 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2. The output is 2 because uh, we have 4, 2, and uh, 3, 1. So that's why output is 2. It's a very simple question. And uh, we have follow-up question. So could you solve the problem in a linear time and uh, in O1 space? Yeah, um, actually I came up with the two solution. Um, but the uh, first solution is uh, linear time, but uh, uh, order of n, so linear space complexity. And the uh, second question is a uh, um, linear runtime and uh, O1 space. So I'll show you how to solve this question with two ways. Okay, so let me explain with this example. Um, I copy this input array from example two. So you may come up with a hash map solution and basically I iterate through all values like one by one. And uh, every time I put each value into hash map and then compare the uh, number of current value with um, current majority. And then if the number of current value is greater than current majority, then uh, update the majority with the number of current value. And then also update the result variable with current number, like a two or a one. And uh, let's begin. So first of all, uh, we find two. I put uh, two um, into hash map. So two is now one. And I compare uh, the number of current value, uh, which is one, versus current majority is zero. So one is greater than zero. So update majority um, to one. And then update the result variable with two. And then move next. So now we find the two again. So update hash map two. And then uh, compare the number of uh, current value with um, current majority and uh, two versus one. So update majority number two. And then result variable is now two, so it's the same. And then move next. So we find one. So I put one into hash map and then um, this is a first one, so one, one. And then compare um, this number with uh, majority num um, number. So two versus one. So two, uh, so current majority is uh, like a greater than one. So I don't do anything. And then again, we find one. So update hash map. Now we have two one. And then compare uh, majority number, but uh, they are same. So in that case, we don't do anything. And then move next. Um, again, we find uh, one. So now we have three one, and I compare majority number, and uh, now three is a uh, greater than uh, majority number two. So update uh, majority number to three, and then a result variable should be a uh, current value one. So change the result variable to one, and then move next. Uh, again, we find two. So update hash map. So now we have uh, three, two, and then compare majority number, three versus three, so it, they are same. So we don't do anything. And then ne move next, uh, we find a two. So update hash map. Now we have a uh, four, two, and then compare majority number. So four versus three. So four is greater than three. So update majority number to four, and then also update the result variable with current number two. So now result variable is two. And then after that, we don't find uh, any uh, number here. So 
then stop looping, and then just return a uh, result variable too. Yeah, uh, this is a simple solution. So with that being said, uh, let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize hash. Oops, hash. And the uh, result variable equal majority equal zero. And then start looping for n in nums. And uh, first of all, add plus one to uh, current number and uh, put uh, the number into hash. So hash, and the key is a current number equal one, add one plus hash dot get and the current key is a current number and the default value is zero. And then if current number greater than majority, in that case, um, update result variable with current number and then um, update majority. Majority equal uh, the number of current uh, value, so hash current number. Yeah, actually, that's it. So return result variable. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution uh, is order of n because I iterate through all numbers like one by one. And the space complexity is also order of n. That is a, a downside of uh, this solution uh, because uh, we use hash map. So we have to add all numbers uh, into a hash map. So that's why uh, order of n. And the uh, description said, so we have a follow-up description. So could you solve the problem in linear time and uh, all one space? So with this solution, um, we could meet um, linear runtime, but uh, not O1, actually ON. So in the next solution, we solve the question with ON runtime and O1 space. So let me explain how to solve this question. Okay, so let me explain with the same example. So basically, I iterate through all uh, numbers like one by one. In each iteration, uh, we check two conditions. And the first, if majority number equals zero, in that case, update the result variable with current value. And then um, if uh, current number equal uh, result variable, in that case, add plus one to uh, majority variable. If not, add minus one to majority variable. So I'll explain detail with iteration. So let's begin. First of all, we find uh, two. If uh, majority number equals zero, so now zero. In that case, add uh, update a result variable with current value. So now result variable is two. And then if current number equal result variable, so two equal two. In that case, add plus one to majority variable. So now we are now here. And uh, it's obvious uh, majority number is two. So that's why currently uh, result variable is two. It's obvious. And then move next. So now we find the two again. If majority number equals zero, but uh, now one. So I don't update the result variable. And then if current number two equal result variable, so result variable is now two, two equal two, so that's two. So in that case, add plus one to majority variable. So majority number is now two. So now we check this area. And uh, yeah, uh, it's obvious uh, two is a majority number in this case. If um, input array is uh, like a two lengths and then move next now we find one so check if majority number equals zero but now two so i don't update a result variable still two is a um, majority number and then if current number one equal result variable two so in this case, uh, it's false. In that case, add minus one to majority variable. So now m equal one. 
So now we finish check uh, this range. But uh, 2 is uh, still majority number, so uh, that's why uh, result variable is now 2. Yeah, uh, looks good. So move next. We find that 1. So if majority number equals 0, so now 1, so I don't update the result variable, I stay 2. And if current number equals uh, result variable, so two equal, uh, 1 equal 2, so it's false. In the case, add plus, add minus 1 to majority variable. So now majority variable is 0. Yeah, and we finished uh, check this range. So now we have 2, 2, and 2, 1. Yeah, uh, we don't know which is a majority number, but uh, we, at least we find the 2 first. So majority number should be 2 in this case. So that's why our result variable is 2, 2. It's obvious. And then, so next is a actually an interesting point. So now we are here. So we find 1. If majority number equals 0, so now majority number is 0. And then update result variable with current number 1. So now we change the result variable to 1. And then um, current number equal result variable, so 1 equal 1. In the case, add plus 1 to uh, majority variable 1. So now we check, we finish check this range. And uh, yeah, uh, as I told you, this is an interesting point. So until this point, um, 2 is a majority number, but uh, we find a uh, one like a third time so now we change the majority number to from two to one right it's obvious so that's why our result variable is now changed to one so which means uh, so every time um, majority point reach to zero in that case uh, we change the uh, majority number with current number so we start from zero and then like a one two so how to see so <laughs> but uh, one two one zero so now uh, at the time uh, we reach the zero in the case so uh, we start a new majority number um, so that's why uh, result variable is now 1. If we find a 2 here, so again 2 is a, 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 two is a, a ma majority number, so, so result variable should be 2 in, uh, in this case, but uh, we find 1. So then move next. And if majority number equals 0, but now 1, so I don't update a uh, uh, result variable, stay 1. And if current number 2 equal result variable 1, so 2 equal 1, uh, it's false. Then add minus 1 to majority variable. So now we reach 0 again. So now we finish the, uh, checking this range. So, yeah, we reached the zero now. So, we finished uh, um, considering one as a majority number. So, from next time, um, new majority number start. So, we don't know which number. And then, but uh, so far, um, until now, so one is a majority number in this case. And then, move next. So 2, we find 2. So if majority number equals 0, so actually it's 0 now. And then, so new majority number starts. So uh, update result variable with current number, 2. So result variable is now 2. And uh, 2 equal current value equal result variable 2. 2 equal 2. So that's 2. And then add plus one to uh, majority number. So 
update uh, with plus one. And then there's no number here. So that's why uh, we should return two. So let's check. So we have four, two, and three, one. Yeah, uh, so majority number should be two. So yeah, looks good. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So this solution, uh, so runtime is uh, linear time because I iterate through all numbers like one by one. And then uh, we don't use extra memory. So space complexity is O1. So with that being said, let's jump into the code. So let's write the code. First of all, initialize result variable and the majority variable. Um, initialize with zero and then start looping if majority equal zero in that case update result variable with current number and then um, majority plus equal one if current number equal uh, result variable else if not add minus one. Actually, that's it. So after that, return result variable. Let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the space complexity of this solution is O1. So that's why memory usage is really great. So let me summarize the step-by-step -step algorithm. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of majority element. So hash map solution. Step one, initialize hash map, result, and the majority variables. Step two, start looping, add plus one to hash map for current value. And if the number of the value is greater than majority, then update the result variable with current value and the majority variable with the number of uh, current value. Yeah, that is a hash map solution. And uh, this is a ON runtime and O1 space solution. Step one, initialize result and the majority variables. Step two, start looping, change uh, result variable if majority is zero. If uh, current value is equal to a uh, result variable, then add a plus one to uh, the majority variable. If not, add a minus one to the majority variable. Yeah, that's it. I hope this video helps you understand this question well. If you like it, please subscribe the channel and hit the like button or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.